With less than 24 hours to go, the countdown is on to Inauguration Day. There is unprecedented security in Washington, D.C. tonight, ahead of the swearing-in of President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. And with a look at some of the key events that have already taken place, Phil Blower is here with more. Well, Maria, the historic transition really ramped up today when President-elect Joe Biden said goodbye to his home in Delaware and arrived by private jet at a Maryland Air Force base. It was also marked by a nearly 20-minute farewell address from the White House by President Donald Trump. On the eve of the inauguration, Joe Biden said farewell to his longtime home at a send-off event in Wilmington, Delaware. I'm truly honored to be your next president and commander-in-chief. Now always be a proud son of the state of Delaware. Next, the president-elect and vice president-elect pay their respects to those who died from coronavirus. On the National Mall, some 200,000 state and territorial flags represent the nearly 400,000 Americans killed in the pandemic. They also serve as a stand-in for those who cannot attend Wednesday's ceremony in person. Everything is taking place inside a tightly secured perimeter protected by 25,000 members of the National Guard. It stretches from the White House to Capitol Hill, where top senators are working on a power-sharing agreement ahead of the chamber being split 50 Democrats and 50 Republicans. So our marching orders from the American people are clear. We're to have a robust discussion and seek common ground. In video released from the White House, President Trump reflected on his time in office. All Americans were horrified by the assault on our capital. Political violence is an attack on everything we cherish as Americans. It can never be tolerated. Now more than ever, we must unify around our shared values. Now, tomorrow's ceremony will feature three musical heavyweights. Lady Gaga will sing the national anthem, and there'll be performances by Jennifer Lopez and by Garth Brooks. There will also be a primetime TV special hosted by Tom Hanks. So, Maria, it's really going to be a star-studded day full of events. Yeah, we're definitely going to watch closely, and, of course, our coverage begins tomorrow morning. Thank you.